Zika infections growing tonight in Florida. State, state health leaders confirming a new case and then making that 21 infections here in Florida. And tonight, Brazil's president is saying the Zika outbreak will not compromise the upcoming Olympics in Rio de Janeiro, saying his country will have considerable success fighting mosquitoes that carry the Zika virus. Experts say the virus is sweeping through parts of Latin America right now. Zika mo is mostly harmless for adults, but it's been linked to serious birth defects among newborns. And it's that defect that's fueling most of the growing concern about the Zika virus. But microcephaly is nothing new for a Pinellas County family. Their son has been dealing with the condition for 40 years. ABC Action News reporter Carson Chambers shows us how they came what doctors called a death sentence. Mm. <laughs> Where's my boy? Where's my boy? Mm. I love you. I love you. When you are born, you can't choose your parents. He goes, Mr. Barber says, I'm sorry, he says, but your son's not going to live more than two weeks. Forty years later, it is clear Angie and Vince Barbaro are the best choice for their son, Anthony. He goes, uh, you know, he says, I'm sorry, he says, but you should probably put your son in an institution. He can't see, he can't talk, can't walk. I said, are you crazy? That's my son, I said. I'm taking him home. Perhaps Anthony wouldn't have thrived like he has without his mom and dad's devotion, tender care. My philosophy has always been one day at a time. The retired couple from Maryland with two other children spend their days strolling Anthony on the beach. He goes everywhere with them. Born with microencephaly, Anthony's head is abnormally small, his brain underdeveloped. The only thing the doctors told me back then that I may have contacted a virus in my first three months of pregnancy. They thought Anthony's condition was pretty rare, but now the spread of the Zika virus is conjuring their interest as Zika cases pop up around Florida and the world. We never heard of it before, I mean, until now. The, well, yeah. Yeah, and it's doing the same type of thing to kids. The Barbaros want other parents to know they're not alone. There is life, even with microcephaly. As long as he's healthy, that's what we want. In Indian Rock Speech, I'm Carson Chambers, ABC Action News.